Hi, and good evening and welcome to Glasgow Middle School's back to school night for the 2020-2021 school year. I'm glad that you could make it. Um, if you require uh, some translation services, uh, we do have uh, some help with that tonight, as you can see on the screen there. Um, uh, as I mentioned, my name is Mike Gerber and I will be your child's uh, sixth grade science teacher this year. Uh, I look forward to getting to know the family and working with your child this year. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, this is my 14th year of teaching in Fairfax County. Um, it's also my 14th year of teaching sixth grade. Uh, the last 13 years has been, uh, I have spent in uh, the same elementary school, Timberlane Elementary School, which is a Title I uh, school in Fairfax. Uh, my wife's a teacher there. Um, and my three children are either there or uh, have gone through Timberlane. So we are a Fairfax family. Um, I, uh, I love to do a lot of outdoor stuff, especially now during COVID-19. Uh, I've always played soccer and basketball and, and continue to do so whenever, whenever I can, just get out and get some fresh air, you know? I love to camp and hike and do a bunch of outdoors uh, sorts of thing with my family. Um, in terms of my philosophy for uh, sixth grade science uh, and, and what to expect, um, I have a few things that I believe about students and how they learn best. Uh, one of the main things that, that I feel are, is important is that sense of community. I, your, your child needs to feel safe and accepted uh, in our community and, and have that relationship, and that's very important to me. Um, I believe that when, when teachers can uh, engage students with real and authentic important activities, uh, they, they tend to do their best. Um, I think that, that um, you know, finding some way to, to create interest in the topic and make it relevant for the child is, is one way that <clears throat> we can maximize success as well. Um, and it's also important that students have uh, some space to pursue their own academic interests within the curriculum. Uh, when they get that interest sparked in something to have the, the opportunity to have an outlet to, to continue to pursue that. Um, in terms of what I feel like students need to be in order to be successful, um, you know, they need to feel like they're an important part of our class and, and their voices are valued. Um, we need for them to attend class and participate whenever they can. I think by, by participating, uh, those relationships are created and, and that sense of belonging, um, you know, it comes together a lot more quickly that way. Uh, we're hoping that your child will complete all uh, classwork activities. Most of these activities are going to be in the in the Google Classroom, which we'll talk about shortly. Um, and also, you know, asking for help as humans, as students, um, you know, we, we all have the need to, to have things clarified and to have a little bit of help. So it's important that your, your child feels empowered to be able to do that. The curriculum that we'll be studying this year, our first quarter, uh, we've jumped into uh, our astronomy unit, so that's where we'll start. Um, quarter two is weather and climate. Uh, third quarter is properties of water. We look, some, look into states of matter and do some um, initial chemistry basics. We'll be doing some diagramming of atoms and things like that. Uh, and fourth quarter is energy, renewable and non-renewable resources and, and so on. So that's a snapshot of what we'll be getting into this year with, with our curriculum. Um, in terms of grading and assessment, uh, we will be having formative assessments throughout the year, kind of just to check in to make sure your, your child is understanding um, the lessons as we work through units. We don't want to get too far down the road and, and find out that we haven't done a good job of, of explaining and teaching uh, certain concepts or skills. Uh, summative assessments we'll use at the end of uh, units to, to kind of see exactly what students uh, were able to retain, what we as teachers were successful in, in, in helping them to understand. Um, and we'll be providing uh, daily feedback uh, in, in person with your, with your children. And then with the report cards, we'll be talking about how uh, your children are organized and, and um, behaving in school in terms of you know, the day-to-day -day stuff within our classroom. Um, we also have asynchronous work that we'll be leaving on Mondays, and um, there occasionally will be things um, for homework, although we'll try to keep that to a, a minimum, uh, given the amount of screen time that, that um, our students are, are having right now. Um, in terms of my support, I do have office hours on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3.30, uh, and Mondays from 10 a.m. to 10.45. I send out a Google link to all the students' emails and, and uh, that's their opportunity to come and ask me one-on-one -on -one clarifying questions. 
Um, I am always available uh, through my um, email address, mwgerber at fcps.edu. Um, you guys make sure that you use that whenever you need to. Um, I am placing a, a learning grid on our Blackboard classroom so that you can go in and take a look at uh, what the idea for lessons are for the week. Um, I'm also put, uh, putting this uh, grid in the Google Classroom, uh, which your child will be using to, to complete most of their classroom assignments. Um, in terms of supporting uh, our students, you know, one of the most important things you can do is, is check in with them and ask what they're learning. Um, you can ask them to show you that learning grid from uh, within the Google Classroom. Um, you know, and then ask them, you'll, then you'll know, you know, what their assignments are that week and you can check in when, with them and ask, you know, have you completed this? Did you get a chance to do this in class today? Is it something that you need to complete for homework? Uh, that way you'll have a better idea and, and you and your child can stay in communication about what's going on in the classroom and the expectations. Um, <clears throat> in terms of being successful, when your child sits down to the computer, if, if he or she or they can have uh, pencils, paper, um, you know, in, in their laptop, those are the things that they'll need to have success in, in classes on a daily basis. Um, I am really looking forward to getting, know, getting to know the Glasgow community. It's my first year at Glasgow, and I know it's your sixth graders first year at Glasgow, so we're trying to learn this together. And um, I look forward to getting to know all of you guys this year as well. Uh, thanks for stopping by and have a great night.